chapter 42, The Blake Parade. Ayan! Oh, but the new book is coming out really soon! I can't wait! 1111! I think that snap will really be the same person as Volximor, because they are both half blood, so that will explain why he killed Dumbledore and he hated Harry! 1111! And then Harry will have to commit suicide, so Voldemort will die, because he will really be a horcrux! 111! Oh, my God, I hope Draco and Harry get together, that will be so sexy, won't it? If they don't, then Jacob is homophobic! 111,111! Thanks for the help, Wimpax! Medusa, you rogue! 111! 666! I sat depressedly in Dumbledore's office with Hedwig, Satan, James, Sirius, Snap, and Lucian. Dumbledore was sitting in front of us cruelly. He looked more young than he did in the future. He had taken the iPod away and was now listening to a shitty Avril Levin song. What the hell is this, anyway? He cackled meanly. I hoped he didn't find out that I was from another time. Whatever you do, don't blame Ebony, you jerk, Satan said. Yeah, seriously, she was trying to get Satan and Hedwig back together. Sirius said deviantly. Be quiet, you Satanists, Dumbledore cockled. If you're lucky, I'll probably send you all to Akazaban. That will teach you to copulate in the Great Hall. He changed the song on the iPod to a NSYNC song. Suddenly, I noticed something strong about the iPod. It was slowly charging. Dumbledore didn't note. You fucking poser. I muttoned. I bet you've never heard of GC, James said. No, I knew what the iPod was charging into. Morty McFly's team machine! Eleven. Shut up, Jones, Draco's dad shouted. Yeah, shut up. Snake said preppily. No, you shut up, Dumbledore! 1111, said Tom. I've had enough of you Satanists in my school, shouted Dumbledore spuriously. Suddenly I grabbed the iPod from him. Everyone, jump in before it's too late. I jumped into it, but only one other person jumped in. It was... Satan. You dunderheads! One billion, one hundred eleven million, one hundred eleven thousand, one hundred eleven! Screamed Dumbledore wisely as we went. I looked around. I was in the Slytherin conman room with Satan. I was wearing a Blake plaid miniskirt with hot pink fishnets, a sexy Blake MCR corset, and Blake stiletto boots with pink pentagrams on them. My earrings were Blake Satanist sins, and my raven hair was all around me to my mid black. Hey, cool, where is this? He asked in an emo voice. This is the future. Dumbledore's iPod that he tried to take away from me was really also a tin machine. I told him. Cool, what's an eye patch? He whimpered. It's something you use to listen to music. I yucked. OMFG cool, wait, what's a four letter word for dirt? He asked in a sex voice. Um, I guess sand? I laid confusedly. Yeah, I was just trying to make sure you were styled the same person. He triumphantly giggled. Suddenly, some of my friends walked in. OMG, you're fucking alive! Said Ginny, wearing a Blake leather jacket, Blake baggy pants, and a gothic black from first to last shirt. I explained to her why I was alive. Connight you are, bitch, said Willow. She was wearing a Blake corset, showing off her boobs with lace all around it and red stipes on it. With it, she was wearing a Blake leather miniskirt, big Blake boots, white foundation, Blake eyeliner, red eyeshadow, and Blake lipstick. Hey, motherfucker, said Diabolo with his red hair. He was wearing a black peak question mark ATD t-shirt and Blake baggy pants. Hey, who's that, Ibony? But Lodi Mary questioned as he walked in wearing a black t-shirt with a red pentarom on it with lace at the bottom, red letter pads with Blake lace, and black stilettos. Oh, it's Satan. I told her and she nodded, knowing the truth. Suddenly, Satan started to cry. I love you, Satan. We asked concernedly. Oh, 
5G or from the future? One! What if you don't like him anymore because we're from different times? He asked. No, I still like you. I said sexily to him. Okay, he said reassuredly. I let him listen to teenagers play MCR on my iPod while I was about to go outside to find some things. I gave Diabolo a signal to keep Satan occupied. Satan fell asleep. I took the iPod. I was about to walk outside. Professor Sinister ran in! 1111. She was wearing a gothic Blake mini dress with depressing Blake stripes, white and Blake striped tights, and red Converse shoes. She was wearing lots of Blake elider. Oh my fucking god! Where's Draco 111? How did Snap get back here? I to heart he was in Azerbaijan! I asked sadly. Ebony, I was so worried about you, but I know you can't fucking die because you're a vampire. Snape came back because that girl Brittany freed him. I never liked her, she was a bad student. Trevolry said reassuredly. That bitch! Levin! Did she also free Hargrid and Lupin? I shouted angrily. I hated Britney because she was a fucking prep. Yes, they are on the loose at this school. Dumbledore is back. Cornelia is on his way to help everyone. Tell everyone you see to lock themselves in their con man room. Trevolry said worriedly. Ugh, but where's Draco? How come he was doing it with Snap? I don't know why, but I know he almost tried to commit suicide after he saw you almost kill yourself, he said. Oh gee, that's terrible! I gasped. Satan was still asleep, so he couldn't tell what was going on. Then I said, Listen, everyone, I have something important to do. In her, everyone stay. With that, I ran out. Good, Good luck, Tara. Right. Everyone cried. I ran sexily down the stairs into the great hall while the portraits around looked at me scaredly. There was hardly anyone else in the stairs and there was an atmosphere of horror. On the way, I saw Brittany laughing on the stairs. She was wearing a, a slutty pink shirt with flowers on it, a blue jean skirt, amber chromie and pink stilettos. She looked just like a pentagram of those fucking preps, Hilary Duff and Lindsay Lohan. You fucking bitch, 111! I shouted angrily. No, you're totally a bitch. Now Voldemort will like totally kill you. She laughed. Crucios! One! I shouted selectively pontificating my Blake wand and she started screaming that she was being tortured and I laughed sadistically. No, one, help me! One, please! One. Britney screamed terrifiedly. I put up my middle finger at her. In her hand, I saw the video camera Snape and Lumpin had used to take the video of me. I put the tape of Voldemort doing it with Hedwig into it. Then I continued to roam down the stairs with the camera. When I had reached the Great Hall, I saw Vampire Potter. OMG, Vampire! 111. I yielded. We hugged each other happily. He looked at me with his gothic red eyes and spiky Blake hair. Around them were Blake eyeliner and eyeshadow. Yes, he was wearing a Blake leather jacket, leather pants, a Panic at the Disco concert shirt and his Blake Congress shoes. He looked more like Joel from Good Charlotte than ever. Did you hear their song, The River It Rocks? One! I was so worried you died, moaned Vampire. I know, but I'm a vampire, lol. When I woke up, I was back in 1980. So, new I bought Voldemort from when he was young with me. Where's Draco? I asked spuriously. Draco, you mean that fucking poser who betrayed you? Vampire snarkled with anger in his sexy voice. I know, but we have to find him! I said smarty! I'll do it then, Harry said angstily. Ock! I agreed. Suddenly... All the lights in the room went out. And then... The dork mark appeared. 
Oh my fucking Satan! Harry shouted. I think Voldemort has a removed. I said anxiously. Fuck, I have to find Draco one! I guess we should separate. Okay, vampire said, diaperating. Sadly, I ran into a great hall.